This video is part of the Commercial Building Electrical Design Series, Power Distribution Design, and this is the third um, review of a set of power documents that uh, I wanted to go over, kind of putting the pieces together. Um, we looked at a hotel in the first one, looked at a church edition in the second one, and this is another new construction for a car wash facility. And I just want to point a few things out uh, on this one that uh, you may not have seen on the first two. Uh, here, are the, here are the plans, the, the E-sheets that we've pulled out. Again, this is part of a larger set. This is just the electrical discipline. Uh, and as before, uh, we have our legend, sheet index, and some general notes. Uh, so as we start to go through these plans, this is the, the site plan here. The site plan has a little more on it than uh, the other two than we've seen. We do have the site lighting as we've seen before. And uh, we see that uh, we show the circuitry of that. But we also has this turnstile um, island out here. This is where the cars come up and they can make their payment and they're punching their code. And then it opens the, uh, the little arm there so the cars can pull through. So it did require some power out there. And I uh, see we, but, but just as before, you know, as we zoom in on this, uh, you'll see the outlets, the weatherproof outlets, and they have their circuit tags, and then you have these light fixtures with their circuit tags and the junction boxes to connect the, uh, the computer terminal to. Uh, so not a whole lot different there. And then um, we do have a waterproof connection here for a sign, for some signage, uh, if they want to get in the building. And then finally, you know, we show the utility transformer location on the site itself so um, you know just a little bit more different information there again we have the standard details and the light fixture schedule and we'll get into that uh, as we move through the through the series so this is a, a rather small building so because of that we were able to put the lighting and power plans on the same sheet um, so as we look at this, again, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the lighting. We'll cover it in more detail later, but we do want to notice the circuit tags for each light. Shows how it's circuited. That's the power aspect of the lighting plans there. Then if we come down to the power plan itself, um, you can see here that uh, we have the general outlets, general purpose outlets, and we have the mechanical equipment. So here's the mechanical equipment schedule. So we have fan coils, condensing units, electric heat. All of that, you know, you should be able to match up the tag here and see all the pertinent information for those connections, including circuit uh, locations and, and branch circuit pipe and wire sizes. Um, and so, you know, all this is distributed out and I have a couple of motors here uh, that we're connecting and, uh, you know, a junction box here for, I think this is, uh, I guess for a hand dryer or something like that. I don't remember, but, uh, you know, Pretty standard so far on this sheet. Um, this job is a little different because it did have a lot of process equipment as well. So that's what's on this sheet. And we showed it separately uh, because this is all equipment supplied by the car wash vendor that we have to connect. So it's on this sheet that we actually show the panel location. So here you can see the MDP, which is the main service. And here we have a transformer, so we do have 480 volt service, so we have to step down to these uh, 12208 panels, and we do that from the transformer here, and you can see it's well within 10 feet, so we satisfy the 10 foot rule, so 10 foot tap rule, so as long as they have main breakers in these panels, then we should be compliant. And then here's our MCC, and this is the uh, motor control center that's used to control all these motors. You can see here we've got a uh, accompanying uh, MCC equipment connection schedule. So this is everything that's connected out of the MCC. And, uh, and you can see, again, you match up the tag uh, on the schedule and it'll get, again, it'll give you all the information. One thing you'll notice, it's probably different than what we've seen before is we actually do have starter information. Usually we only have disconnect and circuit information, but because this is a motor control center, we will have a starter uh, here for each motor. You see this FVNR, that's a common acronym, stands for Full, volt, full Voltage Non-Reversing Starter. And uh, so it's just your basic starter to turn a motor on and off. And uh, it, it, it is used in conjunction with a 
control panel so we are we also show the terminal block uh, layout and where to land each of the, the controls for each of the motors there we have another equipment connection schedule down here for some miscellaneous equipment and that's things like uh, uh, compressors we have a filtration system a water softener doesn't really fall under mechanical equipment per se it's not really controlled by the motor control center so again it's just miscellaneous equipment that we showed connections for but again same 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 process you just find the tag location on the floor plans match it up with the tag on the schedule and it should tell you everything you need to know about that connection on this sheet we have our panel schedules uh, another thing that's a little bit different is we have a sheet spec so um, most of the times we'll include a book spec which is just the specifications printed out eight and a half by 11 pages and we put them all together with all the discipline spec specifications but for smaller projects sometimes we'll just use what's called a sheet spec and so that's where we just put all the specifications right here on the plans and so this gives directions on what materials you can use and how you would use them uh, type of thing so it talks about you know disconnect switches <coughs> main distribution panel boards uh, current transformers, wiring devices, lighting controls, uh, you know, anything that we might use on this project should be should be spelled out there. So we've seen these other panels before, but the one we haven't seen is the MCC. So again, we have a separate schedule for the motor control center. It looks a lot like a switchboard control center uh, a schedule, um, and that's mainly because we can continue to add sections on it if we need to. And so here you see the, the description. Uh, the size of the motor, what the load is, starter size, and then the starter type, and then branch circuit information, and then the bottom, of course, as all the others, we have the overall load calculations for the for the MCC itself. Also down here at the bottom, since it is a 480 volt system, we have a transformer schedule. So here's where we call out, you know, what size the transformer is, the voltages, and we also put loading information there. To show how much it's loaded and, and to assure that it is sized correctly. Finally we've got our detail sheet but uh, on this detail sheet the thing that uh, is a little different here we have our riser diagram stuck in the middle and here we can and we do see an example of a albeit small uh, example of a riser diagram with a transformer so we show we come in on the primary side of the transformer secondary side feeds these 12208 panels and here's our feeder schedule showing you know what each line is in between each device or piece of equipment here and what type of feeder or branch needs to be run to those <laughs>